law of contract. The nature of contract. A contract is an agreement or a promise which is legally binding or enforceable by law. A contract is a, an agreement, a promise, which is legally binding or enforced by law. A good example is marriage contract. A marriage contract. Another good example is a, a sales contract. When you're selling goods to one person, from one person to another. Another good example is employment contract and so forth. It is legally binding agreement between two or more parties by which rights are acquired by one or more acts or forbearance on the part of the, the other. So when, when you're entering into an agreement, each party have Right, Cindy. They also have the responsibility, and possibly due duties that they're supposed to see through. Another contract is like the one you have entered with the school. The school agreed to do what? To tutor you. What else did they agree? to give you examination. What else? Oh, you, in return, you pay school fees, attend classes. What else are you supposed to do? So, only those two items. Pay school fees and attend classes. Again, it's the what? Tutoring you. Also, testing you through recognized examination of bodies. Also, the, the school also agreed to give you qualified personnel to, to help you improve on your skills. Like myself, I'm very qualified. Way too qualified. So, that's a valid contract. Yes, sir? Essentials of a valid contract. Essentials of a valid contract. So for a valid contract to be there, we, there are those things that are necessary for them to, for a contract to exit. One of them is offer and acceptance. Offer and acceptance. There must be a lawful offer and lawful acceptance in thus resulting to other agreement. So when you are entering into a marriage contract, it's the, it's, the, it's the most common kind of a contract that we know. There must be an offer. The girl will come and offer to marry you. Isn't it? That's an offer. For that to be valid, so you must accept when he is kneeling there, asking you, will you please marry me? Then munafanya nini? Nowadays munamuacha hapo kwa mata, isn't it? See, I've seen guys, I've seen ladies running. You know, most of the time it comes as a surprise. Umefungwa mbaka macho. Sindio? Na kuna camera. The guy wants to record the moment. Kuna mbaka bande pale kuna mse wa guitar. Tin, 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 tin. Unakuja. Wana kufungua. Unapana jamaa menila hapo. What do you do? This is not the guy you had chosen to marry. Remember? Huh? You? Do you show him just? Oh, dust. Oh, dust. Ah, there's, there's another one that was circulating the other day in the media. They were making me. Juicy, there's a guy I think who proposed on Valentine. Now, I talk about you. The girl learned. So that was an offer. That was a contract. It was an offer. So there, but there was no accept. Acceptance. So it cannot be legally binding. But when the, if the girl had accepted, that means the girl is obligated to hold her end of the bar, the bargain. That means the girl must hold her end. The boy must hold her eh, his eh, his end. The other one is intention to create legal relation. Intention to create legal relation. Intention to create legal relation. 
relation. So, that relationship is subject to law. How? Remember things like bigamy? See, that's an offense. That's an offense. Bigamy is an offense. When you are married and then you go marry, conduct and do another marriage set? Ceremony. So you yourself, you must know that whatever I'm, I'm entering into, in case I'm accused of something, the law can take its course. Its course. Once we enter into this contract and then I divulge from this contract in one way or another, we can evolve the law. She can even take you to portal, you can take her to court. Nowadays, uh, engagements, those people who are engaged, like me, all you and you get engaged, not you and you. Wajira, where are you? Wajira and this one gets engaged. And then you broke the engagement, and Washira has already suffered some damages. Washira can sue you and claim back the for the damages. Yeah, you're like, no, 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 you promised to marry me. I postponed everything I was doing. I have even invested in the wedding. I've already paid the dancers. I've booked the venue. I've paid for it. If you're not going to marry me, you compensate the money I've spent. Because we already, I already asked you and you accepted. So why are you backing out right now when I've spent money? So he can sue for damages. Because it is a, a contract. You agreed to do one thing, he agreed to do one thing. And that means both of you are in a, an agreement that can result to legal consequences. If one party or if one person feels he was agreed, he did not get what he was supposed to get. He was not served right. The other one is lawful consideration. Lawful consideration. Lawful consideration. So lawful consideration, uh, consider has been defined as a price paid by the one party for the promise of another. An agreement is legally enforceable only if each of the parties to it gives something and it gets something. The something given or obtained is the price of the promise and is called considera consideration. So when you're talking about consideration, we are talking about you cannot enter into a contract whereby only one party is giving some something. You must give to get to get. Sasa, if in the contract you are the only one giving something, wanaume, kwazalama, wasira. In the contract, you are the only give one giving. Is that the real contract? Because you have to have Valentine, dinner, dinner, supper, breakfast, lunch, fair. What are you getting in return? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you getting in return? No, you need to be treated. You need to get something in return. If you're not getting anything in return, then that's not a contract. It's not a valid one. Like this one is not a valid contract. I'm here teaching you are sleeping. Is it? Is this a valid contract? You're supposed to be getting something out of this. You have been school visa. Are you getting something? You are sleeping. So you are the one failing on the contract. So, lawful consideration. This is where you each get some, something in return. The other one is capacity of the parties. The parties, the parties, the parties to an agreement must be competent to contract. Otherwise, it cannot be enforced by the law. In order to be competent to the contract, the parties must be of age of majority and of sound mind. So you talk about capacity of parties. Capacity of parties. This is the capacity to be able to enter into contracts. The capacity to be able to enter into contracts. Meaning, you cannot enter into contract with somebody who is under aged. Why? Because the law does not allow them to enter into co to contracts. They cannot enter into a contract. Why? Because the law considers them not to be mature enough. They cannot make a decision on their own. They need a guardian. They need somebody else. You can also enter into, into a contract with somebody who is unsound. Somebody who is mad. Why? You'll be considered that you're taking advantage of the, per of the person. The person cannot make sound decisions. The other one is a free consent. 
Free consent? Free consent. Free consent in all parties to an agreement is another essential element. A valid common means consent means that the party must have agreed upon the something of the sense. There is absence of free consent, the agreement is induced to coercion. Induced free. So when you talk about free consent is whereby like uh, you have not you are not being harassed to agree to agree. You're not being forced, you're not being coerced. Like you came to this school willingly, where where you came to this school willingly. Nobody forced you to come to school. Did anybody force you to come here? Uh, somebody did. Your mom, I'll go for you, buddy. Who is Julie? Nakuresha and Alala. So, <laughs> uh, when you're getting, well, okay, allow me to relate it to marriage again. When it, especially when you're getting married. Nobody should force you to get married. No one, not your father, not your mom, not your pastors, not your village elders, not your boyfriend. Sasa, you should decide on your own. You should call yourself in a meeting and ask yourself, am I ready for this? If you're ready for it, then, sir, sir. If not, then, give me more time on. You, you, you go marry somebody else. Me to talk about that, me? Lawful object. The other one is lawful object. Lawful object. Lawful object. The object which the agreement has been entered into must not be federal or illegal or immoral opposed to the public policy. Must not imply injury or anything. So whatever, whatever the objective is, whatever the aim of the contract is, whatever the goal of the contract is, it must be something legal. It is something that is generally accepted by the law. Sasa, we cannot enter into contract for you to kill someone. That is illegal an illegal contract. We cannot enter into contract for you to smuggle something for me. That's an illegal contract. We cannot enter into contract for you to commit fraud somewhere. That's an illegal contract. So it must be accepted by in the eyes of the, of the law. The other one is possibility of performance. Possibility of performance. So, whatever contract we enter into, or whatever contract you have entered into, whatever agreement you want to enter into, it must be something doable. It must be something doable. We cannot enter into a contract whereby you are supposed to give me your heart, literally you pluck it out of your body and then you give it to me. Why can't you do that? Why can't you do that? Because by so doing, if you remove your hand and give it to me, what will happen to you? You will be offing yourself. Yourself. Sindio, you cannot give me that without offing yourself. And offing yourself is against that? The law. You cannot off yourself. You can't kill yourself. Only the law. Only, only the law has the permission to kill you. Only a judge can, uh, can uh, sentence you to death or life imprisonment. So, the act itself must be specifically possible, e.g., the agreement cannot can be enforced at law. So, it must be something possible. We agree that you do some work, some work. We agree that you do some, some, some service. And then, you get what? You get money. So, those are the, uh, those are the seven essentials of a body contract. Essentials of a valid contract. One is offer is an acceptance, intention to create legal relation, lawful consideration, capacity of the parties, free consent, lawful object, possibility of performance.